All right, we are at the last section, macroscopic description of an ideal gas. This is 18.5, and let's uh, share the uh, PowerPoint. Now, uh, the, uh, we had the volume expansion equation, delta V equals beta V, uh, delta, beta VI delta T, uh, and that's based on the assumption that the material, the material has an initial volume. Uh, but, and that's, that's good for solids and liquids, but when it comes to gases, it, it, the in, interatomic forces within gases are very weak, so it, it doesn't apply. Uh, but, so we use a, uh, uh, an ideal gas law where the, uh, the, uh, the it's low pressure, low density is what we uh, consider an ideal gas. There is no such thing, but for for our purposes, we can. We, if it's low density, um, the low pressure, we can we can uh, uh, come up with some pretty good calculations. For, so uh, it's useful to know the quantities, volume, pressure, and temperature of a gas. Um, so we use an ideal gas model. Now uh, it, it's common to use. Uh, the uh, moles, moles of, of, of gas, one mole of any substance is that amount of the substance that contains Avogadro's number. What's Avogadro's number at the end of the, in sub A? It's 6.022 times 10 to the 23 of whatever. Uh, so you, if you have 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms, you have uh, a mole of atoms. If you have uh, 6.02, two times 10 to the 23 molecules, you have a mole of molecules. So whatever it is, um, you, uh, it, it, Avogadro, it's like saying a dozen. You have a dozen eggs, you have a dozen pencils, you have a dozen uh, computers. Uh, a mole is just a number uh, that really doesn't have anything to do. I mean, we use it for for um, chemistry or, 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 or gases, but it, uh, it's not, it, it's just a number like a dozen. But with those large volumes, we're talking typically molecules and atoms. So the, uh, the number of moles N, uh, let, let me see, am I jumping the gun? Uh, yeah, there you go. The number of moles N is equal to the mass divided by the uh, uh, atomic, the molar mass of the substance. So for an example, if you look at the periodic table, the mass of one helium atom is four uh, atomic mass units, four U. Uh, uh, so the molar mass of helium is four grams per mole. Um, and so you, whatever you, the number you see in the, uh, the periodic table, that's the uh, uh, number of grams per mole that, that you get. Um, now suppose uh, an ideal gas is confined to a cylinder like we have there uh, with a piston and the piston is well sealed so no molecules are going to uh, leak out um, so the mass of the the mass or the number of moles remains constant uh, for such a system the experiment shows that the pressure volume and temperature provide the following information i'm reading right out of the book uh, this is page uh, 492 uh, but they describe it so much better. Um, when the gas is kept at a constant temperature, its pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. Uh, let's see where uh, this might help. When the gas is kept at a constant temperature, its pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. Uh, when the pressure of the gas is kept constant, the volume is directly proportional to the temperature. And when the volume of the gas is kept constant, the pressure is directly proportional to the temperature. Uh, now, so the first one that where the uh, the temperature is where it, it pressure is uh, inversely proportional to the volume. That's historically known as Boyle's law. The second one where the uh, volume is directly proportional to the temperature is Charles' law. And the last one where the pressure is directly proportional to the temperature uh, is Gay-Lussac's law and justifies the straight lines that we drew for the, the constant, uh, uh, constant volume gas thermometers. Uh, uh, you look at figure 18.5.
Now, these observations are summarized by the equation of state for an ideal gas, and it's given right there, PV equals nRT. Well, what is, what is R? Uh, R is the uh, universal gas constant, uh, and it's 8.314 joules per, uh, per mole Kelvin. Uh, now, that's when we, when we express pressure in, uh, uh, in Pascal's. And the volume in cubic meters, um, so that we use R, that's R, R. If we, however, use the, uh, if we express R in uh, atmospheres and the volume in liters, uh, where one liter is equal to 10 to the three cubic centimeters, um, or 10 to the minus three cubic meters, then R has a value of, R of 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Um, okay, let's, uh, now the, uh, so the ideal gas law uh, states that the volume and temperature of a fixed amount of gas does not change. Now, let, they're giving an example of a, of a um, champagne bottle. All of the, the, the gas resides within the liquid and the cork, so that if you shake up the bottle, the, uh, you, that gas gets interspersed into the liquid and forms on the outside of the uh, the walls. Well, when you uncork it, those bottles, I mean, those bubbles, they expand and they push out the uh, the the liquid. The liquid it hasn't increased in gas. It's just that the bubbles are become uh, inserted into the liquid. Well, if you were to tap, if you were to tap the uh, uh, the bottle and get all the bubbles off the side of it. it when you open it, it wouldn't expand like that. You can do it with a soda can at your own risk. You shake up a soda can, but then just tap the top of the soda can, dislodging all the bubbles that are on the side, and it shouldn't spray. Now, if it messes you up, don't come complaining to me. Do it outside on a nice summer day, not on a cold day like today. Okay, uh, let's see where we are. So we have PV uh, equals NRT. Sometimes it's helpful to to express the uh, uh, the um, the number of the number of moles. Um, you know, PV equals NRT, but we can also express this as N over NA, where NA is Avogadro's number. Uh, and in that case, we use the Boltzmann's constant, Kb, where Kb is equal to the uh, R, the universal gas constant, divided by the uh, by Avogadro's number, and you get 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per, per Kelvin. Um, the, uh, let's see, okay, I, I think that's it. A, a common material, um, for, uh, let me catch up. Yeah, yeah okay, the, the N there, the capital N there is the total number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number, uh, NA, uh, PB equals the N KBT, so N is equal to the total number of molecules. Okay. Um, the, a common material for cushioning objects in, uh, Packages is made by trapping bubbles of air between sheets of plastic. Is this material more effective at keeping the contents of the package from moving around inside the package on a hot day, a cold day, or either hot or cold days? Well, the uh, you've got as it expands, if the temperature increases, uh, the uh, the volume is going to increase. Uh, on a cold day, the trapped air and the in the bubbles is reduced in pressure according to the ideal gas law. Therefore, the volume of the bubbles may be smaller than on a hot day and the package contains, uh, contents can shift. Um, so the hot day is the better, uh, that's the, you know, the volume is greater on a hot day. Okay, let's uh, look at the, on a winter day, you turn on your furnace and the temperature of the air inside your home increases. Assume your home has the normal amount of leakage between inside air and outside air. Is the number of moles of air in your room at, a high, at the higher temperature larger than before 
smaller than before or the same as before? It's smaller than before because as it, as it expands, it's gonna leak out. So it's smaller than before. The number of molds, uh, some of the molds get pushed out. Um, and that's it for the for our slideshow. Um, we'll end the uh, end the uh, um, lecture here.